New at five, the victims of a deadly shooting spree in Joliet are being remembered tonight. Seven relatives were found shot to death in two separate homes last Monday. Our Courtney Sisk is live where the community came together for a vigil. Hi, Courtney. And Regina, hi. Very sad day today out here. Family members are asking for prayers for strength and for an abundance of peace to help get them through this unimaginable time and grieve the seven lives lost. The release of belongs in the name of Tamika. Please release. Thirty-eight-year-old Christine Esters, thirty-one-year-old Joshua Nance, twenty-year-old Alexandria. 14-year-old Angel were seven of the eight people killed and their family member, Romeo Nance, is accused of shooting them, then taking off to Texas where police say he died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Today was an outpouring of support from the community. They set up two vigils outside of the family's home and held a balloon release to honor their memories. We know that heaven is rejoicing as our families were welcomed home. We know that there are difficult days ahead of us as we deal with the daunting reality of picking up the pieces and trying to experience life daily without our loved ones. And the latest in this investigation, the suspect's girlfriend actually appeared in court this week. She is accused of making statements to prevent police from apprehending Nance. Reporting live in Juliet, Courtney Sisk, NBC5 News. Thank you, Courtney.